dream. Oh my gosh, I'm always so busy. Man, I feel a lot more awake for this dream than I did for last night's totally hectic stream. I actually got some sleep. How about that, man? Isn't that crazy? I got some good sleep. So I'm feeling pretty energetic. We're going to offer this rocket pack for sale today. People are really enjoying having the vintage packs available again. They're hard to sell, to be honest. It's not that they're hard to sell. Maybe it's that they're too easy to sell, and I'm just trying to hold on to them. All right, so we'll have a rocket pack available for 260, and uh, I really don't want to offer too much vintage too fast. Whew, what's up, Eddie Petty? What are you doing, step bro? Let me jump over to live chat. How's it going, everyone? We got a little bit of Zelda music playing in the background. It's kind of low, though. I got some eggs boiling. No, they're already done boiling. Ah, oh, mister, you're really giving free cards? Only to the Pick Me Girls. Pick Me Girls try harder than regular girls. What's up, Andrew E? He says, what's up? How's it going, Andrew? I appreciate Pick Me Girls. Let me have a sip of my, oh, let me open this up, actually. What's up, Big Beans? Hmm. How's my day? My day's good. How's your day? Pokeverse says, me, 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 me. I'm off and drunk and off midday. Let's get some packs. All right. We've got no Shining Fates packs. That's a thing. Man, last night I thought I had a decent chunk of Shining Fates, but my gut told me that it wasn't going to be enough. And we had them available for sale for just like a few minutes, and then they almost sold out. And then I raised the price and sold the rest of them off uh, pretty quickly at the end of the stream. It was pretty wild, actually. Any update on the CGC returns? Nope. I've had CGC cards at CGC for like three months. I was actually going to talk about that. CGC is not as fast as I hoped. You know, what I really liked about CGC is that they were cheaper than PSA and much, much faster than PSA according to what they advertised. But then it turns out they don't accept your order. Like it arrives, but they don't get it out of their PO box for like a month. And then they slap on longer and longer wait times. And so now if you go to the website, the wait time has jumped to even further. And they've increased the prices and it's making me go, all right, well, PS PSA is a value again. So CGC... They need to step it up because it's like, how are they supposed to differentiate themselves from BGS and PSA if they're just going to charge the same amount, you know? CGC has been backlogged because of overwhelming demand. Remember, guys, don't sleep on Steam Siege. That's right, Steam Siege, the hottest set you haven't opened yet. Don't sleep on these excellent... Look at these. Don't sleep on these, guys. What the heck? These are the metal custom cards. Holy. So we got those custom cards. We got Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. And uh, my favorite is the Charizard. He looks the he looks the smexiest, in my opinion. Catalina says, fell asleep last night, woke up to a daytime stream. Hello again, mister. Thanks for getting my vivid ship last night. No problem, man. No problem. Yes, yeah, busy, busy day. Another day for me. After this, I need to make some tiki talkies and I need to I need to do a lot of other things, a lot of background things. What are you guys up to? What's today? It's like Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Woohoo. Chrisbot says, I think Crimson Invasion is underrated because of the Rainbow Gyarados. Oh, that reminds me. Crimson Invasion price, I think, needs to be updated. Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion and Rebel Clash need to be updated. Give me a second. <laughs> See, you said... You said Crimson Invasion, and now I'm probably going to... All right. Yeah, Crimson Invasion should be 8. Is it 8? Crimson Invasion's increasing to 8. Crimson Invasion, finally moving up in price. It's a wild world out there. And how about Rebel Clash? Rebel Clash really changed... Rebel Clash is changing. What do I got Rebel Clash set at? No, Rebel Clash is the same, I think. Just do a little test. Yep, Rebel Clash is fine. But Crimson Invasion went up by a dollar. You'll have to refresh your browsers to see that price change. All right. Crimson Invasion. What a nice set. It's got Olivia and it's got Gyarados. Thoughts on the PSA 10 McDonald's Pikachu going for over 18K? What? That's got to be fake, man. There's no way that's real. It's, it's totally fake. Don't believe what you see. 
Brandon says, hey, mister, do you think vintage and modern will be indistinguishable in the distant future? Um, no, they'll be distinguishable. They're distinguishable very easily. Curse Boss says, mister, excuse me, I honestly think you should diversify your sealed collection into sealed Yugi boxes. All right, let's get those sealed Yugi boxes. Now says, hello, Krishamas. What? <laughs> Got my cards in the mail, mister. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Matt says, sent two cards that I truly felt were possible tens or nines. Came back, came, be sent, two cards that I truly felt were ten or nines. Came back sixes. Have you ever experienced anything like this, mister? Yeah, um, I have, in general, there's something you overlooked on the card that turned into a six. And it surprised you how tough the grading is. That's what just happened. They might have been damaged in shipping, says Kirschbot. True, but the, the point is you should be able to look at the card and see why it got the six. All right. Look at this Charizard. So we have new custom cards. Let's get them all up on the table so you can see all the custom cards. The custom cards were kind of overshadowed by the Shining Fates last night, so I didn't get to show them off it's quite as much as I wanted to. We've got th these three custom cards. These are the base set starters. They're all first edition. So those are real cool. But also... We still have the Lugia and the Illustrator that you might have remembered from earlier. So I was so happy with the Lugia and the Illustrator card that I'm like, man, I might as well get the rest of these. Lugia and Illustrator. So now there's a total of five metal cards. Wow. I should have like a special deal for buying like all five of them or something. Dude, it's so heavy. Even just the five of them. Yeah, a little metal card collection. Somebody said you can try to submit these to GMA, actually. I thought that was interesting. I might have to give that a try. GMA might grade these as custom cards. So, very peculiar. Let's go ahead and jump over to the PayPal's and see if anyone wants to open some Poke cards for today's daytime stream. We're just going to have a short two-hour stream, okay? Vegan Lunch says, just because they bid doesn't mean they've committed to buy. Mister, I gave up on pulling Mr. Favor and just bought her for 100 Joseph says, what would you give as a deal? Five for 100 No, it wouldn't be five for 100 Maybe it would be like five for 50 Yeah, I'd probably do five for 50 Mister, you should open that Neo Destiny pack that had a dent in the front for TikTok. The Neo Destiny. No, 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 I don't want to do that. That'll be sent off to grade. It'll probably come back nine, maybe eight. And uh, that'll be a fine grade because I'll just sell it. I'll sell it for the price of the pack. And you know what? I'll help people avoid opening it and getting a, a bad card out of it. I think that's actually a good thing to do for the community. Help people avoid. Because we've opened enough packs to know that even a good-looking booster pack can have damage on the hollow in the front. So, I mean, if it's got what appears to be like blunt force trauma straight to the front maybe just don't risk it at all what's the point of risking it mister i mean it's funny because your curiosity makes you wonder if it's damaged but once you've opened it all the value has gone if it's got actual damage on it so <laughs> you just can't let yourself see unfortunately oh i want to so bad <laughs> benjamin weatherby oh, okay i see what's going on here shipping fees for the trade between me cheekers and nightly sweet Drake Brown says, two rounds of battle styles. I have a bag. Hello, Drake Brown. How's it going, man? Mr. Drake. So we're going to take care of these. We're going to stay on top of this weight line and keep the weight short for the lunch stream. Get lots of Pokemon cards open and wrap up in two hours. Mr. My Mr. From John Carpenter's The Thing, what is your favorite thing transformation? Uh, obviously, like many people, my favorite scene is when the guy's hands get eaten, right? He's trying to use the defibr uh, I can't say the word, defibrillator, defibrillator on the guy who's dead, and then the monster opens up his mouth and eats his hands. Man, that was a crazy moment. You need the Skyla. Well, let me just go pull the Skyla. Oh, cold. All right, mister. Just cold cards this time, except for the Empoleon, actually. What am I thinking? Can I send you some cards to pre-grade? Yep, mister, I pre-ordered very early this morning. Oh, I better go looking for that. So this is for Drake Brown. Don't forget, guys, to get your cards shipped. To get your cards shipped, go post a message in the Please Ship channel. We've got too many cards on the table today. It's really slowing me down. 
it's not a good thing. I don't really know what to do about it. So if you could help me out and post, especially if you have a larger bag and you know it. Also, if you have a larger bag, you can get $2 live shipping, cheap live shipping. Your cards go out right away. No wait time at all. You'll go right now in the, in the live stream. We need to make some room. So Drake Brown says he has a bag. We're looking for it, Drake. I'm not seeing it. Let me check up top. We are basically full in every box. There's not a single, maybe the Z box. Here we go, Drake Brown. Drake Brown, for example, you can get $2 live shipping. See how large your bag is? Your bag is taking up all this room. So you can get $2 live shipping. Is pretty cheap. All right, let's see what's next. Quentin Neff. Hello, Quentin. He says, three McDonald's pa packs. Please don't open them and please grade them. You got it. Okay, Quentin. Well, you probably don't want to grade this one. It looks like it's got some crinkle on the paperwork. Or this one. Or this one. Yeah, that's the problem with pack grading. The problem with pack grading is it's not really fair of me to go looking for the good ones for you. You know what I mean? Well, actually, you know what? This one also has bends on it. Maybe that's just common for these packs. It's because the pack is made out of paper, which is really unusual. I'm in England. What's the best way to grade my cards, mister? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't, I thought that uh, PSA has an office in in uh, London or something, right? That's what I thought. I'm off today, perfect for the stream to come up. What's up, mister? How's it going, man? Yeah, these all appear to have lines in them, so it's not like I can just pick out the best one very easily. Okay, we got... Mr. Mr. PWCC. You see, Mr.? PWCC. What's PWCC again? PWCC. That sounds important. Oh, the PWCC vault. Right, right, right. PWCC auctions. Is there anything cool coming up? If they're all bad, just open three and give me store credit for the rest. Oh, you just want to open them now? <laughs> Let me see. Well, that's for Quentin Neff, right? I tell you what I'll do if you want, Quentin. I can just refund you. You really want me to open them? Yeah, they all have a little creasing on the side. I think that's just how these packs are, naturally. Do I ship to Canada? Do I ship to Canada? Good question. Yes. Yes, I do. Quentin is trying to make a decision. <laughs> They're insane, those auctions on eBay. I'm looking at some first edition hollows. I'm not saying what card, because I'm going to get it if get it for cheap. He says, nah, just refund me. All right, let's get that refund. Good choice. Don't want to make you open something you don't truly want, you know what I mean? There you go, mister. Let me jump back to the line. Now, somebody said they had ordered very early today. Let's go looking for that real fast. I mean, I see the Benjamin Weatherbeat thing. Oh, is this it? Is it Justin Kramer? All three starters and live shipping. I have a small bag. I think it's Justin Kramer. Woohoo! What's up, Justin? All three starters. Here they are. And you have a small bag too, huh? Let's go find it. Justin Kramer. Looks like Justin Gamer. <laughs> How much for the Team Rocket? That says 260 on the pack, okay? Oh, 
Whoa, man, that's so heavy. <laughs> oh, wow. Mister, how you doing? What's up, Matthew Lee? How's it going, man? Woo. Let's get your label printed. Address on PayPal is correct, he says. All right. Mister, do you think you will offer a book price for all custom cards? Um, yeah, I'll offer a price right now. If you want all five cards, I'll do uh, 50 bucks for all five cards. Oops, hold on. Let me get your email as well. Print. What cards do you think I'm talking about? All right, I'll be right back. Let's get this live stream. God damn it, man. I was just trying to grab some bubble wrap and it kept like jumping out of my hands. <laughs> Mr. Justin. They call him Mr. Justin. All right, Justin, your cards are on the way. Okay, we helped Quentin. Now we have Johnny Kim. What's up, Johnny? Good afternoon. I would like two rounds of the Japanese bow styles. You got it. Johnny Kim. Do I ship to the UK? I sure do. There's a $13 shipping fee. And after you buy your cards and you think you're ready to ship, you can either order an additional fee for immediate shipping. That's live shipping. Or you can get in line for shipping for... for uh, you know, there, there's a, basically there's a line. I, I almost call it free shipping, but, you know, it's funny. When it's international, you always pay $13, so it's technically not free. But, yeah, you would get in line in the Please Ship channel. That's the other way. It takes a little bit longer, but you don't have to pay for the live shipping. Mister, how much is the Charizard V and what grade? I think I had a little... He's listed at $725, and he's a PSA 10. I'm nearly out of PSA cards to sell. It's kind of wild. We had so many after those PSA returns. Mister, does the Japanese Team Rocket Packs have guaranteed hollows? Yes, the first card in the pack is a guaranteed hollow. The worst pulls would be like the Trainers and Weezing. Best pull, of course, is Charizard, Blastoise, and Dragonite. So those are the three you want. All right, Johnny. You're right here. Thanks, Johnny. Do I ship to the UK? Yes, I do. $13 to ship to the UK. Be sure to read the instructions on how to order. Golden Blastoise. Bo golden Blastoise? You got it. For Kara Nichols, a Golden Blastoise. Are you up top? I thought you had a bag right here. I have a bag. I can buy stuff again while the store... Oh, the store credit. I forgot about that. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Totally forgot about that. So it's going to be... You start out with 400, and then you remove the Blastoise, which brings you down to 300 and... Uh, 88, 388. There we go. There we go. Now, I thought you had a bag. Did I put you in the overflow? Maybe I put you in the overflow. Nope. 
You're right here. You got a huge bag. Lovely Blastoise. Give me a moment. I forgot we did that trade. <laughs> Is Shining Face back in stock, mister? Is Shining Face back in stock? No, I'm afraid I'm all sold out of Shining Face. Completely sold out. They sold out so fast last night, I think I could have charged $30 and they still would have sold out. So, you know, we get mad at scalpers, but I feel like also the ridiculous price people are willing to pay for the packs drives it as well. No stop, I paid 24, I paid for it. Don't use store credit, read my message. The store credit was for PSA, I paid for my card trade and Blastoise. Oh, let me read the message all the way, sorry about that. Golden Blastoise and middleman payment. I have a bag. I can buy stuff again. The store credit will be going toward grading cards, which I'm sending you today along with Cheeker's card. Sorry about that, mister. I had a misunderstanding. For some reason, I assumed it was a like a just one of those PayPal messages that has like two cents and it's just a message. I would have seen it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Mr. Making 200 on an ETB. I wish I was. You got to remember, I got to pay for the ETB as well. Okay, so I have costs as well. Next up, we have Mr. Jose Ponce. Two rounds, battle styles, and two Rebel Clash. Please, I have a bag. All right. One, two, three, four. Mr. Jose Ponce. Was I supposed to do anything else for Kara Nichols? All right, all right. No, no, no. Was, everything's good. Two rounds of Battle Styles and two Rebel Clash. Let's get those two Rebel Clash as well. Funny to say, we actually sell Rebel Clash really well. Woo! Is Shiny Star V still in stock, mister? Uh, we do have a little bit of Shiny Star V left. That's almost sold out as well. That is very close to sold out. Okay, let's see what you get. Oh, Urshifu. Second pack, third pack. Third pack is cold. Fourth pack is cold. How about this Rebel Clash? Rebel Clash gives you Inteleon V. All right. And Squovit. All right, mister. Anyone know any UK card grading companies? Let's go ahead and get this into Jose Ponce's bag. He says, please, I have a bag. I just sent for all gold cards and a few other. Whew. Holy. Are they cool? They're pretty cool, man. I was like actually really impressed with them. I thought they were just kind of dumb when I first saw them, but I was like, okay, let's take a chance. And then when they arrived, I'm like, oh, these are actually very nice. <laughs> I had a feeling they could be nice. I was like, in theory, these might be nice. And that was why I took that initial chance on them. Alex says, hey, mister, hope you're doing well. I'd like one large custom booster and one vivid voltage. Okay, one large custom and a vivid. Your pack contains Rocket Squirtle. This is Team Rocket Squirtle in fairly good condition, actually. Believe it or not, this is a gradable card, and I didn't really look up what its value would be if it pulled a 9, but if it pulled a 9, it might be a lot. Special Delivery Pikachu Gold card just released, too. Oh, that's cool. All right, let me trim this up. Sneep. Here goes. What do we got? We got Trubbish Duraladon. You always liked that Squirtle. Me too. I always liked him. Mr. Alex, let's find your bag. Alex Trailer. 
Here we are. Alex Veneration. Alex, you could probably get $2 live shipping if you're interested. We are really filling up these bags. My buddy has an eBay card buying addiction. Uh-oh. Tell him to be careful. I have a bag too and put in for shipping in the Discord. Thanks. All right. Let's get this refreshed. After Alex, we have Mr. Brian Veloso. Hey, mister, I'll take a Pikachu Illustrator Custom and a Vivid Voltage Pack. All right. A Vivid Voltage Pack. I'm new and have no bag. And live shipping if it's $2 as mentioned. If not, hold on to it and I will pay when my name is mentioned. All right. So, ooh, look at this lovely Raikou. So the $2 live shipping is for people who have a really large bag. If you plan on ordering live shipping for yourself, it would normally be $6. So if you've already sent two, it's a difference of four. And uh, I'll go ahead and save these just in case you're getting that, okay? So this is for Mr. Brian. Mr. Bri Bri. It's a tricky balancing act. If there was free live shipping, people would live ship everything all the time. And there would be a lot of wasted money because people won't bother to combine their ship shipments. So the price of the live shipping forces people to consider, oh, maybe I shouldn't get it yet. You know what I mean? Here we go, Brian. Uh, here, let me put it to the side. All right. Mister, did you open the Tag Team Booster Packs? I'm on the reserve list. I sure did, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, we already opened them. I don't remember your polls. I should be able to look them up pretty quickly. Depending on which box you were in. Might be in the other box. Yes, you were in the other box. Nathaniel, you pick up. It looks like Mel Metal Lucario. So you did not pull a full art in yours. We're not doing reserve lists on the tag teams anymore, by the way. From now on, you can just buy them as you want. As you please. Next up, we have Alexia. Hey, mister, one round of bow styles and one wig pack. You got it. The wig packs are starting up. Oh, man. I want a wig pack. Sneep. When you, when you are done with your taxes, are you going to try to get Pokemon cards on a distributor level? Yes. Absolutely. And uh, that should help a little bit with prices, I think. If my currency is a pound and you want dollars, we'll just convert it on PayPal. Oh, you got Secret Rare Corviknight. Oh, I'm jelly, man. I didn't even know this card existed. I've only seen the Hyper Rare version of it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so it's supposed to convert to dollar bills. That's what it's supposed to do. It didn't do that last time. I don't know why. But also, you didn't send the correct amount. So that makes me kind of nervous. Kind of makes me nervous. Uh, it's strange. It's like, um, yeah, in a lot of ways, your payment didn't make sense. Sending 13 pounds for what you were buying doesn't really make sense whether you were confusing USD and pounds. It almost makes you wonder if you're old enough. Sometimes, because I never meet you guys in person, sometimes I wonder if you just got mom's credit card or something like that. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on on your side. Maybe you just accidentally hit the wrong button. Not sure. All right. Alexia Early. You need one wig pack, right? Here we go. Alexia. Whoop. Apom. That's a vintage Apom from Neo Revelation. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's pretty cool. Alexia. Didn't mention anything about their bag. Let's go looking for Alexia's bag. Adrian. Alex Trailer. Alexander, Adam, Alex Talbert, Adam Mundorf, Adnan, Austin, Awesome, Anthony, Andrew, Andrew, Abigail. All right, nothing past Abigail. Let's try the other box. Alexia Early. BGS cards that have a perfect 10 look so appealing. I know, right? Austin, Adida, Andrew, Anthony. All right, looks like we're just going to create a new bag for you. Alexis, Allen. We're creating a new bag for you.
Sweet. Who's next? Mr. Harry Hewen? He says, hey, mister, may I have two custom boosters and a pair of Japanese bow styles, please? I do not have a bag. You got it, Mr. Harry. Harry Hewen. Is it Harry Hewen? Two customs, he said. Pack number one is Topps Sand Slash. Very cool. TCC grading to the moon. And a, a round of reverse hollows. Sweet. Let's go ahead and see what's in your booster packs. The bow styles. Sneep. Cold. Cold. Ah, oh, man. These bow styles, I tell you. <laughs> they don't even always give out hollows. The hollows are, like, supposed to be a good pull, I guess. So that's for Mr. Harry Hewen. Good luck on your next round, Harry. Be gentle with these. May not look like it, but I'm actually very gentle. Okay, let's get so we, we sold a whole bunch of these custom cards. Let's go ahead and get these back on the table. So there's the illustrator. Venusaur. Blastoise. And Cherizard. Ooh. Johnny Flores, what's up, Johnny? He says six Japanese battle styles. You got it. Johnny about to use the single strike. Wah! We got six packs for Johnny. Am I late for the free Zared? Are you I don't know. Are you a pick me girl? If you're not a pick me girl, no free Zareds. Snip. Instant snip, grade and chip. That's right. <laughs> six rounds or six packs? It's going to be six packs based on the amount he paid. That's right. When you guys order something, I check your order amount, and then I do a little calculation to make sure it makes sense. We got Entei twice. Wow. Entei Hollow. Kingdra. Cold and... Oh, man, you got all the hollows. Where are the hot cards? Oh, we just pulled a Corviknight, didn't we? We pulled a Corviknight Secret Rare. We did pull a hot card out of these. <laughs> My expectations is that everybody's round is going to be hot. That's what it is. I identify as a female helicopter. Does that count? No. Pick me girls only, man. Johnny Flores. Mr. Johnny. Where am I going to find you, Johnny? Johnny Flores. I have a bag, he says. Alexia Early, Golden Pikachu Illustrator. You got it, Alexia. Very cool. And Alexia Early is right here. You're the one who pulled the Corviknight. You sniped it, man. That's a big snipe. Joseph Cisneros, all gold cards. You got it. Anything for Mr. Joseph. Oh, look who it is. What are you doing over here? Just getting your charger? You want to trade jobs? All right, I'm trading, guys. Here they are. He's also wanting some live shipping. So we got all these. Let's grab you a shiny star. Oh, looks like we're getting a new box of shiny star. How much shiny star do we actually have left? I've got a bag. Sounds good. Do you have any PSA cards? Mister, you should get Dragon Ball Super Packs. The late set released a few weeks ago is called Vicious Rejuvenation. You know, I was thinking about getting uh, Final Fantasy. I was thinking about getting Final Fantasy. I don't know about Dragon Ball Z. I don't know about that franchise. 
I don't know about the future of the Dragon Ball Z franchise. Sneep. You're investing in TCC grading? <laughs> Here it goes for Mr. Joseph. What do we got for Joseph? Rishifu. And... Ditto VMAX. You did it! Cooking Mama. <laughs> we got to get some Cooking Mama. <laughs> Joseph Cisneros. Cooking Mama, the TCG. Johnny Pyres, Jonathan, Joseph, Jose, Joey, Joshua, John, 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 Joseph, Josh, Jorge. Here we are, Joseph Cisneros. Sweet. That's a pretty small bag, man. That ain't no sack. You gotta have a sack. Wait, if there's no way you believe the Final Fantasy will be more valuable than Dragon Ball Super in the future. Dragon Ball Z versus Final Fantasy? Yeah, I'd choose, I'd choose Final Fantasy. Do they still make Dragon Ball, like, games or movies or anything like that? TV shows, I guess? They probably do. Yeah, I'd, I'd pick Final Fantasy over Dragon Ball Z for sure. Joseph says, I got more than that. Oh, okay. So maybe you had two bags. Let's go see if we can locate a second bag real fast. Whoa, why is that so heavy? It's from all the cards, huh? Sometimes when I can't find your bag, I make you a new one real fast. Joshua, Joel, Jose, Jonathan, Jorge, Jonathan Todd, Joshua Keenan, Josh... Josh, Joseph, Joseph, Jose. Uh, did you have your bag over in the overflow pile? Is that what's going on? Maybe you're in the overflow pile. I see Jeffrey. I see Joe Harris. Where'd Joe Harris go? I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball is the third or fourth highest TCC. Final Fantasy isn't in the top ten. Well, we'll go ahead and change that, Kitty. We're going to sell so much Final Fantasy, it'll blow your mind. We got Jack... Joshua Kelly, Chris, Hassan, Jonas, Allen. Kitty, I'm not playing with you. Kitty thinks I'm here to play with her. Kitty, I'm working. Kitty, I'm bringing home the bacon for you. Joseph, I didn't see another bag. Joseph Cisneros, right? He says, I got more than that. Do you? Are you sure? <laughs> Let me keep looking. I ordered all gold cards, shiny bow styles, and hidden fates in this order. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's what you're trying to tell me. I missed one of your one of the packs you ordered. Here you go, mister. You are correct. Here's the hidden fates. Nice, picking up a shiny type knoll. Very cool. We can get Daddy Elon to pump those numbers up. That's right. <laughs> he just tweets about it one time. Type null. Hey, mister, you ever get into Final Fantasy Mobile people selling the accounts for big money now? Really? <laughs> That's cool. All right. There we go, Joseph. We're good to go. Wow, that bag's so heavy. Those metal carts, man. Gonna have to give that extra protection because it's so heavy. He says, and battle styles. Last one. I thought we grabbed the battle styles. Did we not grab the battle styles? I could have sworn we did the battle styles. Am I losing my mind? Let's see. Shiny star. I see a Steelix. Did we not open the battle styles, guys? Am I going crazy? Let's see. What were your what were your original cards in the bag? Oh, no, that was from earlier. Okay, so, yeah, let me go get you some battle styles. What the hell? I must be distracted. I, I apologize, Joseph. Let's get your packs open. Must be totally distracted. Talking about Final Fantasy and Dragon Ball Z. Sneep. Let's see what we got. Hold and... Tapu Coco. We got Tapu Smoopu. Now you got double Tapu Cocos in your bag.
There we go. <laughs> Toss this over here. All the Final Fantasy fans, they're like, I can't believe he said Final Fantasy. Not Final Fantasy fans. Dragon Ball Z fans are like, I can't believe he said Final Fantasy better than Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball. I never was. I could have watched it. I had a lot of opportunity to watch it. My brother watched all of it. Uh, I don't know much about the quality of the franchise for Dragon Ball Z, but I, I'm confident in the uh, Final Fantasy franchise. Let's see. This is for Joseph Cisneros. Let me just take another look. Cisneros. Yes, just want to make sure. All right. The Dragon Ball Z franchise hasn't done anything that made me go, oh yeah, that's going to do really well. Mr. Joseph, you're supposed to get an email with this, but I can see I didn't click the box. So you're not going to get your tracking number. I apologize for that. <laughs> it is on its way, though. out there. I don't offer Digimon either because I'm not confident in the Digimon franchise. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, honestly, my job's just to open whatever you guys want to open. So we can get Dragon Ball Z if you want. Did anybody watch Chair of the Fed? Powell answer sent his questions. Oh, man. Whew. Now that we're done with Joseph, I'm going to do a quick refresh. What grade is that Gyarados? The Gyarados is grade 7. That's a recently graded Neo Revelations English Gyarados. He looks really good. I can't believe he only graded a 7. Yeah, he looks really good. We got Ampharos 9. We have Dragon Dragonite 9. This is like the end of what I have left. Uh, my cards are basically, my PSA cards are basically gone. Uh, after these cards are gone, I have to start dipping into my own collection. Ooh. Get a little yawn in there, kitty. All right, kitty, let's see what's happening now. <laughs> Now we have Mr. Alex Veneration, large custom booster, Crimson Invasion, and live shipping. You got it. You got it, mister. Alex Veneration. Here's your large custom booster. Whoop. It's a round of vintage cards. How's it hanging? What's up, man? People really like the live shipping. Uh, the live shipping's a good thing. All right. And the Crimson Invasion. Let's see what happens with Crimson. Oops. We've got a low and geo, dude. Nothing too crazy in the Crimson. We're all ready to ship you, mister. Hey, I'm going to send you a little gift. I'm going to send you a bonus... Pikachu Illustrator card, since you went so deep on this channel. Thanks so much, Alex. Let's get your shipping done. Thanks for confirming your address. Makes it much easier, and I don't have to worry about making sure your address is up to date. Mr. Alex. Just putting the label together right now. Boop. 
All right, I'll be right back. Just doing a little live shipping. Well, I'm ready to be a musical artist. I can sing so well. Katie, what do you think of that? Alex, you are live shipped. Whew. Tell you guys what, let me put these boxes uh, to the side. The mailman, I don't think he's arrived yet. So these could actually make it out right now. So give me a second. actually get picked up today wow it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood today it's warm outside could i send you information on the dragon ball z set you sure can all right so oops. get a fresh round of these on the table Got Alex, Brian Veloso. What's up, Brian? He says rest of the shipping cost and for the two for eleven sword and shield jab. Oh, I see what you're saying. You got it, man. Let's get some battle styles for you, Brian. Mr. Brian. Sneep. Pack number one is a cold pack. Pack number two is a Victini. He says, do you sell Dragon Ball Z cards? I'm afraid I do not. I do not sell them. I could. I could sell them. In theory, I could sell them. What's the wait time? Hopefully short. Hopefully it's a short wait time. What do you guys think? People who have been ordering cards, would you say the wait time was pretty short? All right, Brian, let's go make you a label. Brian's ordering a little live shipping as well. Lots of live shipping. Address is correct on PayPal, he says. Thank you very much for that. Looks like my music paused. Let me go ahead and unpause it. All right, Brian. Brian with an address that starts with two zero. It's not liking the address, Brian. So, according to this, your address uh, could... Do you have an apartment number by chance? Do you have an apartment number that you left out of the address? Brian, I'm not able to ship this because your address is not being accepted. First floor, yeah, but do you have like a... Do you have like an apartment number? He had a good run. He should have had a Tesla. Probably wouldn't have wrecked. What? The McPika auction that ends today. Somebody said there was one for like $18,000. That can't be real. I mean, it's definitely somebody who's just faking that amount of money. He says, nope, it's a res residential. All right. Um, We need to set your bag aside and you need, to set, you need to send me a private message on Discord so we can figure out your address. Because it's not accepting your address. is saying that your address should be more specific. Actually, does it say? What, what exactly does it say when I hit print? Print label. So, what you need 
when you, you've got a zip code, right? You need the last four digits to your zip code. So if my zip code is this, there's actually four more numbers at the end. See that? So usually you don't think about these and you never use them. Everybody has this for their zip code though. So your zip code has four, four more numbers at the end. If you can get me those four more numbers, uh, we should be able to fix this. He says, gotcha, I already know what you need. Perfect. Okay, let me place this to the side. The 18K auction on eBay is real. No, I mean like, you can bid up an auction and then just not pay it. You guys know that, right? Trolls, trolls have been doing that with Pokemon card auctions for a while. Like one of the earliest ones I saw when I started, there was like a Dark Blastoise for Team Rocket, first edition holo, PSA 10. They sell for about $1,200. Somebody bid it up to $10,000. Do you really think they paid $10,000? No, they didn't do that. They're just messing around with it. They're just playing. It's some troll on eBay. All right, so while we wait for that from Mr. Brian, We have C.A. Ward. C.A. Ward says, I don't have a bag, one shiny star V, and just like I said earlier with the taking care, love your channel. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Shouldn't they get punished for it? Well, sure, maybe they do get punished for it, but then they just open another account. All right, here we go. Boop. Grookey. Grookey and... Oh, you did it. You got the Dragon Pole. Mister, this one's real. I talked to the seller. He's worried about not getting paid by whoever wins it. Yeah, but no, you don't get it. I'm, he, the reason he's worried about not getting paid is because the person bidding up the card is the troll. Okay, so the auction is real. The person bidding up the auction is probably not real. He could have two accounts and he could be just, just be playing it up as much as he wants. Nobody's paying $18,000 for a card that just came out. And a card that's going to be, there's going to be so many of them on the, on the, um, auction block. There's going to be tons of those Pikachus. 18,000 is just, you know, it's like, why, it might as well be a million dollars, right? <laughs> Nobody's paying $18,000 for a card that's actually going to be pretty common. It makes no sense. Now, okay, if they wanted to pay like maybe $2,000 even, I'd still say that's crazy how high it is. But at least I would believe that a little bit. $18,000 for a Pikachu card that just came out, and you can get it from McDonald's. I mean, you could go buy, how many cases of McDonald's could you buy? Like 10 cases, probably. So it doesn't make any sense. You should check the bidders. I bet most of the bidders have low to no feedback. So that's for CA Ward. Thank you, CA Ward. How much bulk could you fit in your bulk boxes? Uh, well, we have large bulk boxes that hold 2,700 cards. Yeah, exactly. Pokey Day makes uh, exactly the right comment. Is some troll... Maybe he's mad because he's like, wow, how do you already have your Pikachu? You guys know what happens, by the way. When you bid up an auction to a price that nobody's going to compete with, like let's say 18000 well, now the seller has to wait for the auction to finish, and then he has to wait for the person to sell. They're not going to... Or uh, pay. They're not going to pay. And then they have to relist it. So he's lost. The, he's lost the speed at which he was supposed to get that card sold. That's why he's worried. He paid extra money to have it graded quickly. And if it doesn't sell quickly, he's going to run into a situation where now he has to relist it in auction. Uh-oh, but now there's other Pikachus on the market. So he's not going to get as much money now. So it's a trick. And it actually is a good troll trick because it's going to mess up his profits. He's going to make a smaller profit because of whoever bid it up to 18000 Dear Ari says, that should not be allowed. Does the troll really suffer nothing except getting his account banned? Yeah, basically. Basically, Chris Calhoun. What's up, Chris? Chris would like the three metal starters. You got it, man. How much bulk could fit in your bulk box? Uh, 2,700 cards can fit in a bulk box. We could do various different sizes of bulk boxes. You could just tell me how much bulk you want. Yeah, so he paid a lot of money to get the card graded very fast. Well, if you open a troll account and just bid it up to 18000 now he has to put it back up in auction. And by then, other people already also have Pikachus on the market. So now you're not going to get as much money. So, you know, I've seen it before. 
there's no way anyone's paying eighteen thousand dollars for that card. It makes zero, you know, it makes zero economic sense to do that. You might as well just go buy case after case after case and send out your own ones. He says that's why I hate selling expensive items on eBay. Yep, it's dangerous. Two rounds of bow styles. Let's get those two rounds of bow styles. Oh, two rounds of bow styles. Two custom wig packs. What are we gonna get for the wig packs? Pack number one. It's Obstagoon. And pack number two, Charizard Code Card. Very cool. Very nice. Those are actually pretty hard to pull. You gotta open a lot of shiny fates to run across those. Let's get these battle st battle styles open. Wow, Chris, that's a big order, Chris. Holy. He got a big boy order. Hey, mister, can I purchase that purchase that Rocket Vintage for you to send out to be graded? Uh, you know, I feel like that kind of wastes the uh, content, to be honest. On the other hand, I mean, if you really want it, I'm, I'm not supposed to complain. I'm just supposed to... Yeah, yeah, you can do that if you want. <laughs> you can do that if you'd really like. Why not? Go for it. Oop, cold. We got Tapu Smoopu. Very cool. Yeah, if you really wanted to. Let me think. Let me think about it. You know what? I know I just said yes, but actually I'm changing my mind. They have to be opened. This is a content channel. We're supposed to be making content. So if it was like a modern pack that I have a lot of, totally grade the modern pack. But I actually have very few of these, and we want to see what's in them. So, uh, you know, if you want a pack that can get graded, you'll have to go find another method to, to get a hold of one, or maybe you can contact me privately about it. But for these packs, you're going to have to open them. I know there's someone out there who would prefer to open them, so we got to open them. That's what the audience wants, and we're really supposed to be making the audience happy. It's not just about, you know, selling packs. I'm really supposed to be making people happy with this. So I, people want to see what's in it, and uh, that's the way it's got to be. All right, so, oh, you wanted live shipping, huh? Sorry about that. Put these away too early. No PSA cards this time. I'm sorry. I always ship so early. I just love the new metal cards. My bag should still be front to the left in the first three rows. Hey, no problem, man. That's what live shipping's for. It lets you ship as early as you want. Any update on the first CGC order? Uh, they haven't contacted me about them it being done, and they keep pushing back the completion date to longer and longer wait times. So unfortunately, CGC is taking longer than we thought. Chris Calhoun also says, I forgot to order the bulk box to keep my bulk further on, but can I add this to my previous order? Oh, so Chris, the way the bulk box works, if you ordered live shipping, you already keep all of your bulk. So those go out with your, your order. Now, the, the purpose of a bulk box is if you're somebody, if you're going to be like a regular who shows up every day and opens a lot of cards over a long period of time, that's what the bulk box really is for. Because every time you order cards, I'll go toss your, your bulk cards in that box whether or not you order live shipping. So that's that's why we have the bulk box available. It's not really, you don't want to, let me get you a refund on that, Chris. You don't want to spend your money on that. Chris, you can still order a book box if you think you're going to be a regular over here and order a lot of cards over a long period of time. But for now, I'll get you a refund on it. In the meantime, let's get your address all figured out. We'll get you live shipped. Chris, I see you have an address that starts with 1-2. I think we've shipped you before, actually. Yes. All right, print new label. Yeah, that's messed up, man. What do you think of that? I should make a TikTok on that. The guy selling the card, the reason he's nervous is because he knows if the seller doesn't, if the buyer doesn't pay, he's got to relist it. Let's see, which metal cards were we? He wanted which metal cards? He knows he's got to relist it, and he's going to lose money when he really relists it. He has missed out on potential profits. Oops. Wow, Chris's order got like, here it is. Three new metal starters, right, right, right. Here they are, beautiful. 
How's it going, Edwin? How's it going? You here to look at Pokemons? Because we got lots of Pokemons. We got lots of Pokemons. Hey, if you guys want to help me out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to work our way over to 15,000 subscribers. Ooh, that's a nice milestone. Halfway to, to uh, 20,000. That's a good milestone, don't you think? That's a milestone you want to tell your mom about. Mom, I did it, I got 20K. Sweet. I'm going to grab some more of these metal cards real fast. All right, so after Chris, we have Mr. Johnny Flores. He says two battle styles and... One champion's path. All right, you got it. I saw Jungle Box on PWCC sell for one mail one time. I don't know if they trolled. One million. eBay should enforce a rule to where if you bid, you have to buy or get charged a fee. I don't know, man. Trolls might be able to pay that fee. They might be like, yeah, I'll pay the fee. Mister, I ordered 30 seconds ago. I think you skipped me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we got Crow... Corviknight. I'm sorry. I was going to say Crow Mag. Crow Mag's the name of somebody who buys cards here. We got Corviknight. Worshifu V. Did my order go through? I'm Brandon. How's it going, Brandon? There might be a wait time, okay, Brandon? So... Give me a second. I mean, I can I can check and make sure we didn't miss you, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Okay, Ekans and Professor Research. Sweet. Mr. Loves Boobies. Yeah, I like boobies. I like boobies as much as the next guy. I never liked girls with, like, really huge boobies. I never understood that. Why are you guys that way? Never understood the big booby fascination. Mr. I think I got scammed for the first time in this hobby. Tell us all about it, Lelouch. There's thieves out there, guys. Be careful. Don't do trades. Trades are bad. All right. Who was it that was saying that might have been missed? Quentin, Alexia, Brian, Alex, Jose, Kara, Johnny, Quentin, Drake, Craig, Benjamin. All right. So I don't think we missed them. So let's move forward. Next up, we got Brandon Canella. Brandon Canella is next. Hey, Mr. One Wig Pack. Mr. Brandon, let's see what you get. Brandon pulling Galarian Berserker, huh? Is this his first bag? I don't have a bag. Sounds good, mister. I've never been... I've never been big on the big boobies. A nice BRC is perfect. Oh, my God. Are we talking about girls that way? I think I got scammed. A guy wanted my card, and then I woke up without pants. Oh, my God. Big booties turn into big saggy booties. Boobies. Wait, what? Big booties turn into big saggy boobies? Lelouch, have you played Zook Hero? What? Yar, there be seat thieves. Mister, I found a sleeved XY Evo pack at Family Dollar hidden behind the register. <laughs> I found, uh, I found a base set first edition underneath the shelf at Walmart. Can you believe it? Subscribe to my YouTube. All right, Brandon. Next up, we have Efrain. He says one pack unis. You got one pack of unis. And live shipping, please. Sounds good. Mr. E. Frayne. Right here. Sweet. Who's the pick-me girl? I don't know. Anyone. I found unis, Yugi's at Target. We've got... It looks like just the Muna this time, Mr. I bought a PSA 7 Japanese base Charizard for 700. You think that was a good buy? Um, considering the unlimited Charizard's about 700, 
I think it's probably fair. I think it's an okay buy. I don't know. It's a good question, man. I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> really love the Japanese Charizard. That's an expensive card. You know he used to be cheap? You know he used to cost a thousand dollar for the ten? Oh, looks like this is our first time shipping you, Mr. E-Frame. He used to cost a thousand dollars for the ten. Alright, thanks for confirming your address. So weird, I feel like I've uh I feel like I've shipped you before. All right, we're printing label. If you love the card, it's always a good buy. Mister, can I have a free Yugi's? What's up, Landon? He wants the free Yugi's. He wants the free Yugi's. In here. Actually, let's put some stuff in here too. Just seems a little too loose. Alright. Alright, Mr. Ephraim, your cards are live shipped. My Walmart and Target only got magic cards. Shake my head. Shake my head, my head, nothing but my head. Jesse, Selena's, hello, Jesse. Three rebels for Jesse. Three rebel scum. <laughs> One, two, three. Did Brian uh, reach out to me about those last four digits? I think he did. Sweet. By the way, let me let me try and print this label for Brian. Give me a second. We gotta ship this guy. Ah, uh, still not working, huh? Let me try going in here. So we're still having trouble shipping Brian. Brian, I don't know if you're listening. Let me grab this. What I'm gonna do, Brian, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the actual address options that I'm being given to see what we can get. Don't you hate it when this happens? All right. So you provided the last four digits of your zip code. Let me go ahead and hit print. Okay, still doesn't like it. I'm just going to go with the option that matches the last four digits of your zip code. And I hit print. Brian, your label is printed. We're gonna be opening these for Jesse Salinas in a second, but I'm gonna go ship Mr. Brian, okay? Make sure Brian gets to go out today like everyone else. Oh, man, I blast through these boxes so fast. Oh, no. Brian, your live shift. All right, Jesse. Jesse, it's Jesse Salinas, right? Let's see. Here we are. Yep. Good luck on your polls. You want free cards? Who wants some free ones? Miftle. Crimson and Vastion. We love Crimson and Vastion. Are two shinies, one GX card good? No, they're terrible. 
Man, you got the worst pulls, mister. You should have gotten pulls like me. I got way good pulls. That's why all the girls like my PB. Garbador. All right, I'm sorry, Jesse Salinas. Those pulls were cold. Just some hollows. Be more like Mr. <laughs> Don't be more like Mr. Jesse, not fetters. Salinas. Salinas. New bag? He didn't say new bag, so let's keep looking. Heavier. Just surprised. You wouldn't have been. Hmm. Your bag just too big? Did we put it to the side? Jesse fetters, huh? I like all the vintage Japanese packs that have been on the table. I do too, mister. They're so nice. Kitty thinks they're nice. Jesse Salinas, you're getting a new bag. Remember to let me know if you guys got a bag or not, okay? Do I have pokey chicks? That's right. Hot pokey chicks. Hot pokey chicks in your area. Single pokey chicks, I hear. They're after virile, virile pokey collecting men. Mr. Will you have more Waifu custom cards besides Misty? Uh, no, I haven't really worked on anything like that. I'm really, it's really weird selling the uh, Waifu cards, to be honest. Maybe I'll offer the Waifu cards in private or something. They just don't feel like they belong on this table. It's not very family friendly, but I mean, technically that Misty card wasn't naked. I don't know. It's a strange thing. Like, I really don't mind selling these, but selling the, uh, the lewd Misties, it just makes me uncomfortable somehow unprofessional maybe not sure i mean i can they're, they're definitely popular i don't know it's a, it's a strange thing it's a strange thing maybe i'll continue to offer it your channel isn't exactly family friendly yeah that's a good description as well so it's kind of like yeah it's hard to say next up we have well, well hold on what's this yeah evan slattery what's up evan he says can you please grade my cards in my bag so, Evan, let's go find your bag. We'll start there. Mr. Evan, Evan Dory, Emiliano, Enrique, Eduardo, er Erky, Albert, Eric, Eric, Edward, Evan. Slattery, is that the one? This is the one. All right, we're going to start with your pre-grade. Is that Misty for sale? <laughs> this is an off-center surfing Pikachu. Off center. He's slightly off center. I'd give this guy a shot. See if you can get a 10. Uh, print line, hit on chan. Off center. Off center and a print line. Articuno. Articuno's also off center. Articuno's tilted. But the front of the card looks really good. I'd give it a shot just because it's so valuable if it grabs a 10. That's an off-center. Raichu, Charizard, he's looking good on the front. Off-center on the back, I would give this card a shot. Big Paracel. Lucky for you, the Big Paracel looks like he can get a 10. Scissor VMAX. He's a little off-center. Rhyperior. He's a little more off-center than I'd like. That's just a reverse hollow. That's just a hollow Zapdos. Oh, why'd I put those there? Those don't belong in that pile. Might actually be able to grade the hollow Zapdos, believe it or not. That's how things are these days. Mister, I need that Misty's favor card. <laughs> Do you? Then on the bottom. This is tilted. Hollow Gyarados with the print line. Kakuna. Looking good on the front. Tiny little white dot right there. I'd be careful with that. It's just a Kakuna. You don't want to grade a Kakuna. If it's going to go in nine. That's off center on the bottom left hand corner. Starmie. Starmie looks good on the front. Um, it looks good on the back other than the fact that it's got square corners. I don't know how PSA grades square corners. And Machamp with the print line. Now as we know those evolution packs are very tough. Um, evolution cards typically do not grade 10. They grade 9. So if you can get even one of your cards to grade 10 from that set. That's fantastic. Uh, over here in the 10 pile, you have these really nice-looking cards. I'd probably test all four of them out. 
none of these are like straight tens, you know what I mean? Like ten tens. They're all like they're all like weak tens, you know what I mean? But they all have a shot at a ten, in my opinion. There you go, Mr. Evan. I hope that helps. Let's see what else he said. I want to see how my Gyarados and Hitmon channel grade. They'll probably grade nine or worse. I would like to send the top five best graded ones to get graded, but want a rough guess on what I'll get. Love your channel. Also, boobies. Yeah, so the Nido King is the only one I'd mess with if you're looking for a 10. Now, you could grade them for a 9, and the Gyarados... The Gyarados could have a shot at a 9. I wouldn't mess with Hitmonchan. He's so deeply unpopular as a as a base set Pokemon, you're really not going to get your return on that card for a long time. All right, there you go, Evan. I missed a donation. Billy says, you have a picture of me on his bed. Richmond does. What? Better not, Richmond. Hey, mister, where's Van Doom? I don't know. Where's Van Doom? Probably taking a little break. People can't be at my live stream all day, every day. I go live all the time. And we just open Pokemon cards. Open Pokemon cards and talk about boobies. It's Ganjob. Who the heck is Ganjob? I'm just teasing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We just finished Evan. Now we have Mr. Sky Hamongo. Sky Hamongo says, hello, Mr. Three Darkness. How's it going, Sky? Here is for your next energy drink. Oh, thanks, Tenzenberg. That's so nice of you, man. I appreciate that. So let's see. Sneep. One, two, and three. Next energy drink. You know me too well. You know what I want? I want an energy drink that's like half the size of an energy drink. You know what I mean? Those energy drinks are too tall. Oh, nice, dude. This is one of the reasons why the Darkness of Blaze set is so good. It's a Charizard V card in the set. What else we got? Hollows and Wishy Washy. Okay. Yeah, picking up that Charizard, he's a good hit. He'll probably sell for over $100 pretty easily. Especially if he grades 10, is what I mean. We talk we talk in terms of graded cards. That was for Mr. Sky Hamongo. Sky Sky. Shane. Sergio. Wow, we haven't had too many people with S in the name ordering. So weird. Not used to that. It's been all about people with J in the name. Squid, Simeon, Stark's Assassin, Shine, Ben Haven, Stark's Assassin. That sounds like <laughs> weird. Better look that over. What do we got over here? Sky Amongo, you're up top. Well, why put you up top? There's enough room down low. Drink the original size Red Bull. Red Bull, but I don't want wings. I want claws. Bradley Sheely, Rocket Pack, if it hasn't been snipped, and one wig pack. All right, one wig pack. Here it is. Oh, Pikachu. You got the Pikachu code card. Look at that lovely Pikachu. You subed. Thanks for subbing. I appreciate that. So this is for Mr. Bradley Sheely. Bradley, you ready for this to be opened? Fridge reveal. Mr. Bradley. Just tell me when you're ready for me to sneep it open and we'll get started. He said in his message, if it hasn't been snipped, Katie's all curious. She's like, what are you doing over there? Have I heard of NBA Top Shot? No, I have not. Katie, what are you doing? Mr. Make Rings. Yes, we're working on... There we go. All right, Brad Sheely's here. He says, open her up. Let's get started. I have a custom ring being made with my logo on it, and it's gonna be really nice. You guys are gonna appreciate it when it comes out. If your wife gonna do a Dragon Ball Z channel, 
You guys wanted to open Dragon Ball Z cards? Good luck to Mr. Bradley. And it pulls. <laughs> dark wheezing. Darn it. <laughs> well, the good news on your dark wheezing is the surface looks very clean. So you don't have any damage on the surface. So it makes it a uh, much better grade. My grade of 10, actually. I'm looking at it. The, the uh, borders look good. Yeah, that might be a 10. And then, how about that Naughty Grimer? Let's go find Naughty Grimer. There's a Dark Jolteon. Persian. Magikarp. No Dark... Mu or no uh, Dark... I'm not Dark Grimer. No Grimer. No Naughty Grimer. However, the Dark Jolteon, which is what I was thinking about, might also be a good hit here. All right, there you go, mister. You just scored a Crystal Guardians Charizard stamped. What? That was for Mr. Bradley Sheely. Bradley. Let's find your bag. C.A. Billy. Big T. He says, I have a bag. All right, we're going to find that bag. Christopher Callum Brian. Bradley Sheely. All right. Thanks for opening that up for us, man. That was really cool. By the way, yes, I would grade them. Hi, it's me, the Pick Me Girl. Finally, what's up, Pick Me Girl? Let me send you all of my Pokemons. Waiting for somebody to say that. Literally, no one said it. Finally, the Pick Me Girl's here. You get all my Pokemons. James Targus says, one wig pack. You got it, James Targus. And James, this time, the wig pack is going to be one Shining Fates. Oh. And your bag is going to be right here. Quip needs to do a stream. She's thinking about it. She works really hard, so she doesn't always have the time. James Targus, just let me know if you want to open that. I'm finding your bag right now. Jeremy James McNugget. James Targus. Okay, so for now, James, it's going to remain sealed. If you'd like it open, you just have to say so. Jimmy Gus says, open it. Jimmy Gus, are you James Targus? Open it, open. I think it's James. I think that's James Targus. Jimmy is a common nickname for James. All right, here goes. Bitcoin is down. I knew it. Bitcoin's gonna, that's it. Bitcoin's sinking all the way back down to 2K, guys. Let's see what you pull. Oh, oh. Nice, shiny Cinderace, dude. What a hot pull. Woo! Very good. He's pretty hypers. He's like, I did it, Mom! That's what kids look like when they pull the Charizard out. <laughs> there you go. Not bad. Now we have John Targus. Another, another Targus. Are you guys brothers? James and John, huh? One wig pack. Can you snip it with your fingers? You got it, John Targus. Mom, it's wigged. Mr. John Targus. Snip. Pulling Hatterene. Hatterene. That's not a Charizard. The freaking Charizards. There we go. I have a bag. John Targus. Let's go find John Targus's bag. John Targus says, yes, brothers. All right, man, your brother got the hot one, huh? <laughs> Johnny, Jonathan, Joseph, Jose, Joey, Josh, Joshua, John, 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 Jordan, Joseph, Josh, Jorge, J. Manuel. You're not going to be in this box, so you must be in the other box. Johnny Kim, Joseph, Jose, he says I have a bag, Joe Harris, John Targus. All right, John. John and James. Pokecoin is going up. That's right, Pokecoin's going way up. Brandon Canella. Brandon says, hey, mister, it's me again. One McDonald's pack. All right, one McDonald's pack. One McDonald's pack. If the pack looks 9 or 10 worthy, I'll send more money to get it graded. If not, open it. 
All right, opening it. This one's got this little thing on the side. People want to grade the Pokemon packs. There must be like a zillion of them. Sneep. I would grade them when they get more expensive. Ultra Prism soon? Not yet. Not yet. We got Sobble. All right, Sobble. That's for Mr. Brandon. I don't know if he's got a bag. Let me go looking for Brandon's bag. Brandon what? Brandon Canella. Here we are. Brandon Canella's right here. You got it, Mr. Brandon. Woo! Now we have Jansen, Jansen McNeil. One wicked pack to celebrate, finally, catching a daytime stream. You got it, Jansen. Jansen pulling Sand Slash. Look at that lovely Sand Slash. Someone opened the Team Rocket Vintage? They sure did. Pretty wild, huh? Vintage Tops Sand Slash to Mr. Jansen. Javier. Jansen, Jansen McNeil. Mr. Ricardo, I think I know what you want already. Yep, a round of bow styles. You have a bag? Sounds good. Ricardo Gutierrez. Sneep. Pack number one, we've got Houndoom. Pack number two, ah, there we go, Necrozma. Doop. There you go, mister. Now, Ricardo, where's his bag? There is an R bag. I've, I've, I have a feeling he might be down low, actually. Right, I'll check this first. I think this is a little more accessible. Ralph, Ricky, Ryan, Robin, Robert, Ryan, Robert, Virgilio, Ruben, Ricardo Mendiola. Yes, so I think you're down low. We got Ryan, Raul, Paul, Patricia, Pokey, Robert Lee, Ricardo Lopez. Okay, that's the wrong one as well. Patchen, Ryan Pieta, Reynold. Here we are. We found you, mister. Woo! Thank you very much, man. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget, to get shipped, you could do $6 live shipping, which is instant, or you can get the free shipping if you go make a post in the Please Ship channel in the Discord, okay? So be sure to make your post. Mr. Miguel Velasquez, how's it going, Miguel? Give me those starters and roundabout styles. You got it. And a roundabout styles, huh? We got round of the metal starters. Ooh. And bow styles. Such a cool set. Sneep. There's Kingdra. And... Oh! Just a cold round on the second pack. Man, what is this music? I like this music. Okay, that goes to Mi Mr. Miguel. Mr. Miguel. Marquez... Mason. Is it Mason? Mike. Matthew. Nerdy Noob. Michael Higman? Higman? Max. Noel. Michael. Nickel. Noah. Okay, you're probably in the second box then. Here it is. Miguel Velasquez. Hey, you already have the Lugia. You must like these cool looking metal cards. I like the cool looking metal cards. Cool. 
Sweet. All right, let me go ahead and refresh. How long have we been live? About an hour and a half. It's a nice live stream. Ooh, the camera needs to face the middle. Kitty, what do you think of that? Kitty, we've been live all day. Are we ever not live, Kitty? Next up, we have Johnny Flores. One Hidden Fates and one Battle Styles. Woo! Johnny Flores. You ready for the Hidden Fates? Mister, you're not ready for these Hidden Fates. Face reveal. What, you guys want to see my face? Can't see my face. I'm too beautiful. It will shock you. You're here for the free Pokemons. What's up, Victor? How's it going, man? Giovanni Bonaire says, going a little deep. Mm-mm. How's it going, Greek? I almost called you geek. All right. Battle styles were cold. How about the hidden fates? Oh, mister. At least Jinx wants to give you a smooch. Jinx is going... Is Jinx a... I think Jinx is a pick-me girl. What the... You think Jinx will ever have a third evolution? What if she has a third evolution where she, like, loses all the weight? Come on, Jinx. Jinx, you're, I like you, but you got to get on the treadmill. I'm just teasing. I got to get on the treadmill. <laughs> Johnny Flores. Isn't it funny? We're always so critical of the way we look. We're so critical of each other, but then a lot of us don't look that good. He says, damn. Jansen, Jansen says, one more wick pack before I head to the gym. Oh, he's heading to the gym. Maybe he looks good. Jansen, you ripped? Bro, you lift? Masquerade. The only thing I lift are Pokemon card packs, and that does not give you muscle. I need some, I need some pokey workouts right away. All right, Jansen, no luck on that. Have fun at the gym, Jansen. Unless you stick around and order three more. <laughs> The next one's hot, I swear. Alex Trailer, what's up, Alex Trailer? He says one custom, and he's got the little fire emojis. Oh, Tapu Coco. Sorry, mister. That's not the card we're looking for. Don't tempt me, mister. Get enough metal cards, and you can lift those bags. That's probably true. The metal cards are actually quite heavy. Alex Trailer. He's trailing behind in the poles. You're going to have to put your campaign into high gear mode. Alex Veneration, what's up? Alex, he says, large custom booster, start a new bag. You got it, Alex Peck. Oh, the code cards. Alex. Alex, you scare me, man. You're going way too deep on these. Start a new bag for Mr. Alex. Here you go. Can someone fill me, on, uh, fill me in on what's happening? Pokey history's happening. We're opening Pokemon card after Pokemon card. Here you go, Mr. Alex. Alex ain't scared. He says it's only money. Mr. My dog said she wants some free Pokemons. Yeah, but your dog's probably not a pick-me girl. So, no free ones. Morgan John says one custom booster. He even tipped 10 cents. Well, that just means he's going to get the hit, right? Nope, you're going to get Corvus Squire. Where's the hit? There's got to be a hit somewhere. I feel like we've swept a bunch of cold packs. All right, that's Corvus Squire. Morgan John. Where's Morgan John? Probably it's the next one. It's always the next one, guys. Matthew. It's always the one you didn't open. Somebody else, somebody else opened it for you. Noah, Nectaria, Morgan John. How's it going, Morgan? Morgan, according to this, you have fast passes you could use. Holy. Remember when I used to do those in the wig packs, fast passes? I stopped doing that. All right, that's the end of the stream. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Charlie Boo says, yo, what's up, Charlie? Someone got to snipe that hit in the customers. That's right, right in the customers. Someone going to snipe that hit in the customers. After Morgan John, we have Mr. Jansen, who says, I'm sold. One more wigged. You got it, Jansen. What's Jansen got? Zapdos. Oh, Jansen, go to the gym, man. What are you doing? You could have spent that money on a sexy girl. You could have said, hey, babe, let me buy you a candy bar at the gym. And then she would have blown up into chubby cheeks. 
She'd have been like, what are you doing to me? You're a feeder. You're a feeder. Sorry, Jansen, no hit in that custom booster. How about John Targus? John Targus, his brother, just got a hit. He got the um, he got one of these packs out of here, didn't he? Let's see if he also gets a hit. You ready? Oh, what's this? John Targus Redemption. PSA 8, number 94. What the heck is that? Oh, is it behind me? Oh, it must be behind me. Oh, it's this super expensive Sabrina's Gengar. That's what it is. Congratulations on sniping a vintage banned Sabrina's Gengar from Gym 2. So this card is banned in English. They changed it. Do you see the little graves in the background? They're kind of hard to see without your real eyes, but those are little gravestones. And in the English version of the card, they had to get rid of that. They said, what will the children do? They can't handle it. It's too dark. So if you guys want the cooler version of the Gym Heroes card, you got to get the... Give me a second. If you want the cooler version of that card, you got to get the Japanese version of it. I'm sure I have one in here. Here we are. So here's the regular English version. It looks like he's standing in the desert. There's nothing back there. But that's not how it originally was designed, was it? There was something back there. Dead people. Ooh. People said in English, the little children, who will think of the children? Pretty cool, huh? I wish it was the original artwork on this because Gengar in a, in a graveyard is way cooler. But they said no. They said, no. -uh -uh. Yep, so that's going to be a banned card. That's what, that's what we call cards when they get changed for... Oh, wait, you don't get this one. <laughs> you wish you would get that one. That one's too nice. Here we go. John Targus, you came back and bested your brother. How do you feel about that, John? I think you got the bigger hit. Your brother got that lovely Cinderace, but you got an already graded vintage card. Okay. I hope nobody else ordered any wigged packs because you're all locked in if you, if you did. Somebody bought like 30 of them. I'll take the next five wigged packs. Mr. Alex Trailer says one custom booster. You got it, Alex Trailer. Boop. Oh, don't worry, Alex. You pick up two cherry zards. Everything's all right. Alex, you thought that was going to be a sad ending for you, but it was a happy ending. Nobody going to cry over picking up two cherry zards. Woo. Might have felt a little tingle in my pants, man when I saw those two cherry zards come out. Happy ending wink. Oh my God. Speaking of ending, I think that's gonna be the end of the live stream. Let me just refresh one more time. I had never seen two pretty best cherry zards. Always one of them gotta be PSA 9. That's gonna be the end of the stream. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me in the daytime stream. We'll be back on for the nighttime stream. If you had a nice night, let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. John says I had a floor, uh, an order. Hold on. Johnny Flores. One Hidden Fates, one Battle Styles. Is that the one you're referring to? We opened that one. Maybe you mean you got one pending. All right. Yeah, here it is. One Hidden Fates, one Battle Styles. Giovanni says, wait. No more orders, guys. There might be a pending order that's still waiting to go through. Hey, mister, I have some shining fates coming in, but in all honesty, I lost interest. I'm looking to buy more vintage now. Would you be willing to buy the shining fates off of me? You can certainly reach out to me and make me an offer, okay? I'm always trying to get enough, I guess, of the shining fates. Big Beans, thank you for becoming a member. Mr. Big Beans, he's got the blue balls. He got the blue balls, man. You want to tell your girlfriend to treat you better. Mr. or boyfriend, Mr. Please put free cards in the wig packs. All right, we're putting the we're putting free cards in the wig packs. Mifto, I want some free ones. So was I waiting for anything else? Is everyone done? Jeanette says I have vintage. Giovanni Bonaire, did you have a final order? 
He says, why not both? Oh, my God. <laughs> Put Chalky Milk in the customs. We're putting Chalky Milk in the customs. I think we're done, guys. I think that's everyone. All right. Perfect time to wrap up. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you tonight. Oh, Cam says Johnny has a pending order. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Let's wait for Johnny's pending order. You sent a pre-grade and a custom. Oh, my God. You think you're all that and a piece of Pokemon. When will you be live next? About in two hours. No, I'm just kidding. Johnny says, may I have one custom booster and a pre-grade? You certainly can. Boop. Umbreon GX. That's not so bad. You thought it was just going to be cold cards, didn't you? You thought it was just going to be cold cards. One custom booster and a pre-grade for Johnny Flores. Is that right? Here it is. Let's check out this Umbreon. All right. The Umbreon's definitely more like near mint. He's got a white dot here and here. Corviknight. Corviknight might be a 10. Ekans is hollows. This probably have, has a chance at 10. This has a chance at 10. Grappalocked. Looking thin on one side. Grapplock might have a chance at 10. He looks thin on the left. Lapras VMAX looks uh, kind of thin on the bottom, actually. I don't know if I'd mess with that one. This guy looks like a straight 10, and you got two hollows. All right, there you go, mister. Wigged to the moon. To the moon! Your best card in the lot, by the way, is this Toxtricity, okay? Uh, mister, how do I get cards? You just go, Mom! I want some Pokemons! And then your mom comes running with her credit card, and then you get some Pokemons. There you go, guys. All right. 